It begins with an itch, so minor you barely notice it. But this isn't a mosquito bite. This is an invasion. This parasite doesn't just bite you. It hijacks your body, using it as a living incubator. And the pain it causes can be crippling. What is this creature? And how could something so small cause wounds so severe? This is the truth about the Jigger Flea. I'm your watching Has Medicera. The Chigo Flea, or Tunga Penetrans, is the smallest known flea species. But what it lacks in size, it makes up for in a truly horrifying life strategy. The male flea is harmless. It bites and moves on. The female, however, is the source of the nightmare. She's a permanent parasite. She embeds herself head first, usually in the feet, under nails or in skin folds. And then she begins to feed and swell. Within 10, 14 days, she expels hundreds of eggs into the environment through this tiny opening, before eventually dying and being sloughed off by the skin. This entire process, from the initial burrowing to the pressure of the growing sac, causes intense itching, inflammation, and severe localized pain. This isn't a rare condition. Jiggers are a massive public health problem in parts of sub-Saharan Africa, tropical South America, and the Caribbean. It's a disease of poverty, directly linked to a lack of access to shoes, adequate housing, and health care. The real danger isn't just the flea itself, it's the complications. The wounds are open gateways for bacteria. This can lead to life-threatening tetanus, gangrene, and in severe, untreated cases, the loss of toes or even entire limbs. For many, the pain is so debilitating that they cannot walk, work, or go to school. And a critical point of confusion, this is not the same as a chigger. North American chiggers are mites that cause itchy welts. Jiggers are fleas that cause a severe parasitic infestation. Remembering that distinction is key. So, how is this nightmare treated? The answer is careful, complete surgical extraction. The entire parasite must be removed intact to prevent infection or leaving parts behind. The wound is then disinfected and a tetanus shot is often administered. This simple procedure provides immediate relief and prevents the devastating complications. But treatment is only half the battle. The ultimate cure is prevention. This means education on how the parasite operates, access to shoes, a simple barrier that is 99% effective, improving sanitation in living areas, regular foot checks and hygiene practices. Organizations like Soul Hope and Ahadi Kenya have shown that with these simple, cost-effective tools, jigger infestations can be completely eradicated from communities. So is the jigger the world's most painful flea? Biologically, the pain is subjective. But in terms of its capacity to cause sustained suffering and rob people of their mobility and dignity, it is undoubtedly one of the most destructive. The story of the jigger is a stark reminder of the link between poverty and disease. But it's also a story of hope because we have the knowledge and the tools to stop it. If you want to see the precise removal procedure done by medical professionals, check out our next video here. And if you found this medical deep dive informative, please support us by subscribing to Haas Medicera and hitting the bell icon so you don't miss our next episode. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay curious and stay healthy.